It's Madden NFL 24, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Steelers and the Browns on Thursday night. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it's the Thursday opener for the new NFL season as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Cleveland Browns. The wait is finally over. Brandon God and Charles Davis here on the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both of these teams going into this one? How excited they were to have the spotlight on their teams, their franchises, the rest of the league watching them go at it. With fall around the corner, football is back, America, and we're underway on EA Sports. This taken in at the goal line. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. So here come the Browns for their first drive on offense. And leading him out, their veteran quarterback. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Oh, and that is incomplete. And that might have been a situation where even though you don't hit on the deep throw, you at least put in the defenders' minds early in the game that we're going to press the ball deep against your secondary. And that can have a ripple effect on how they function throughout. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So two incompletions have led them to an early third and ten. Back to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Blake. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. The Browns send out their punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. This is brought in at the 21. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And a look here now at their fourth-year quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm time when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Here's second and ten. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. On that particular play, it just came from the outside. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. On the return, here comes Lewis. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 38. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll set up a throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. They go play action here on first down. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A good pickup there, 21 yards. On first down, nothing opening up really on the running play. Give him maybe a yard, and it'll be second down. He'll drop to throw, and he fires one incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. They'll look to throw. This will be caught at about the six. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Back to throw here. Touchdown! A five-yard touchdown. And the Browns put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. On third down. Boom. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Over the middle, it's complete. And able to 
to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. On to the second from Cleveland. It's the Browns in control of the football. Now a second and six. As they've got it as we resume action. Second and six. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now back to throw. And he's got this down to the 35. He's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half. It's a first down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. It'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack, and it's third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. Pittsburgh offense making their way back out. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Play action. Boom. And he's got his man on the out route. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Looking to throw. Boom. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Third and five. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Steelers first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. And that catch number 100 for his young career. And remember, only in his second season, the future bright. So from the 37, here's second down at a yard. Off the bootleg. Boom. And that's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. 
One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Three yards there. Good enough to keep the drive moving. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short definitely was a great time to dial one up. On first down, boom, quick hitter here, it's complete. A gain of three last play, this time they double it and pick up six. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half, 10-0, our score. We remind you that coming up at the half, we'll hand things off to Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from earlier today, plus a look ahead as well, so you won't want to miss that. A lot going on here in week one. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. From the gun on third down. Boom. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points, obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but... They're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. They'll drop to throw. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now it looks like we're going to get a stoppage here. An injured Steeler on that last play. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. They'll look to throw now on first down. Looking middle, and that's complete. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. They'll look to throw again. He finds his man complete. That's Blake. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as he'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Again, he'll drop to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Blake. And they are in the field goal range now as he's got the first down at the 26. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Back to throw again. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. They're going to look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, good to get another season underway. We'll get back to you guys for the second half of the season opener. But first, let's take a look at what's still to come here in the opening weekend of the NFL season. Good matchups all up and down the schedule there. We'll highlight the one in Cincinnati. 
A big test coming up for the Bengals as they'll take on the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Then later, they'll let the humidity die down just a bit in Jacksonville. A late start where it'll be the Jaguars taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. And finally, a good one scheduled for Monday night football between the Washington Commanders and the New York Giants. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. Well, the Steeler offense ready to get going to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And yeah, not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Boom. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So stranger things have happened. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. Second and seven. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Third down and ten. Looking to throw. Boom. And he will find his man on the outside. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. And now here's a carry heading left. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. To throw on second down. Boom. Over the middle complete. That's Stevens. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Throwing on first down. Boom. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Stevens. The result only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Back to throw. Boom. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. What a job by this defense all game long. They've come together and really said, no one's crossing our goal line, and they're definitely not going to start right now. You can just see the dejection. Feel like nothing is working offensively. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. 
A chance for a first touchdown drive of the year. It's first and goal. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. A great play there. There to make the grab. And the Steelers are back within a score. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. And he returns this to the 22. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Looking to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it'll be second down. Final minute now of the third quarter. Second and nine now. It's Dylan on the slant. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 44-yard line. They'll set up to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. On play action, they'll throw. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. The Browns on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and seven. He'll look to throw. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. And he'll take this one inside the 10 down to the 8. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. A great effort there. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Browns are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. 
Extra point splits the uprights, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. On the return, Westbrook from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And now out come the Steelers. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. On first and ten. Boom. Over the middle complete. That's Stevens. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. Looking to throw. Boom. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first down. Boom. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's a second and four. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Operating from the gun. Boom. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now a quick slant as the throw's complete. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Operating from the gun. Boom. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time and he's going to go down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. He finds his man complete. It's Stevens. But they're going to wrap him up as he'll go down well short of a first. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it'll be a turnover on downs. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none. Yes, exactly right. Another opportunity now for the Browns offense. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 1.51 left. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And he will have a Browns first down. It has been a struggle, but it's looking like that'll be the one to seal a victory. And they'll indeed take a knee. Now an option play on second down. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. It's a pickup of 13, and with that 13 yards, this ball game just about over. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win.
So for the Browns, they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week. Meanwhile, for the Steelers, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at MetLife Stadium with the New York Jets. That'll do it.